Hey, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. With all of the purging I've been doing, I haven't been doing a lot of painting or coloring or much of anything else. I'm just concentrating on trying to clear my clutter. So I follow a person called Creative Paula and I found one of her videos and then started subscribing. The point of her videos are how to fill up a sketchbook with simple ideas that lead you to other things. So I'm watching this one and it is five months old. Yeah, five, I don't think there's a date on this thing. It's five months old. I will put the link down below. But it's such a simple idea and there are five ideas in the video where she talks about five different ways to start painting and getting into it and then you can move on to big, bigger and better things if your brain's stuck in one spot or you need a break from everyday life stress. So I did the first exercise. What it was is taking water down color, uh, water, very watery watercolor and making lines on your page. Then she waits for it to dry and takes, uh, she's using some kind of a black pen that I'm not familiar with, but I used my, I know don't faint, I'm not using my Uniball Air. Um, the first one, what's the biggest one I got? The first one is the Stadler or Stadler 1.2 pigment liner. It has a very fat tip on it. I can't, let's see. Yeah, it's a very fat tip. And then I started doing things with the 0.1 and also with the 0.5. I'm trying to make different size lines. She makes mostly dark lines in hers, but I thought I would switch it up a little bit and put some light colored lines in here. Although I do seem to like the heavier pen better, the 1.2. Maybe I need to bump down, go down to a, a seven and an eight instead of these two very thin ones. The Watercolor paper really challenges the nibs on these things, on any kind of stuff with, with nibs like that. So let me try the 0.8 and see how we do with the 0.8. I'm just doing what she did. I'm just drawing lines. Oh yeah, much better. Um, I'm just drawing lines and nothing special, just going up and down. And just kind of letting it wiggle around through there. I'm, I'm not in any hurry and I'm not going for any particular look. As you can tell, everything's basically up and down. Um, she has a lot of squiggly lines in hers. So maybe that's what I'll do is I'll add some squiggly lines in here to give it a little more interest other than just vertical lines. There we go. All right, so let me try. Well, that's a seven. So let me try the 1.2 and see how we do with the 1.2. Nice fat lines. I love these fat lines. I love that. And then I'll do a fat one with this one. So you can see the contrast in the, the inks and how fat the lines are. Ooh, I like that. So there's no rhyme or reason any of this. I'm just doing lines. If you, uh, Apollo has, how many f followers does she have? Let me see. 333,500 or more followers. So she's not a small channel. And I understand everybody's compulsion to help smaller channels. But... You know, I found this one, and so I'm going with this one. 
let me push this up higher. Um, anyway, so I just thought I would come on here and just do a little of the doodling stuff. It's nothing important. It's nothing earth shattering. I just am following the lines. And the nice part is, is you can still see the color behind them. And this is um, a water, uh, water something. It's in another language for Pete's sake. Oh, it's German. No wonder. <laughs> I was like, that looks not English. <laughs> That's because it's not. So um, I think these are maybe, I don't think they're water. Um, I don't think they're waterproof, but I just think that they will do better than the other, than the Uniball Air that I really like because it is absolutely not water resistant, waterproof, nothing. It doesn't like water. <laughs> it just has big black juicy ink in it and that's, that's what I was looking for when I started using it. I didn't want anything skimpy. I don't know what else to do with this. I just am piddling around. After all that um, reorganizing, I feel my my brain hurts. I know it's just letting go of stuff, but some for some reason I have I have my plastic bag basket. I need to kind of deflate, and then um, I have metal embossing drawer. I have uh, what else is in there? I already did the. I did the wood stamps, I did the acrylic stamps, I did the handmade stamps, I did handmade stamp supplies like wet stones and carving material. I just haven't done the metal embossing drawer and the plastic bag drawer. I'm not doing the Christmas drawer because I don't, I need that stuff. For December and I don't really want to get rid of any of it so I'm not even going to consider going into it. Um, I have a whole bunch of containers in the closet in here that need to be transferred out to the shed and don't, because I, okay so if there is an empty container I feel like I must I, I am compelled to fill it up. <laughs> good bad or otherwise I feel compelled to fill it up. Empty space is not good. Uh, so I need to get those containers out of here to help me mm, resist temptation to fill it up. I have photo paper and that kind of stuff in the on the bookcase. I'm not sure if I'm going to purge a lot of stuff on my bookcases. Not for now. For now, I think I'm going to leave them alone until some of this other stuff. Like the drawers were one of the most important thing to me is getting the drawers done, and I'm more than halfway through the four big large drawer Ikeas. I've done all the small drawers. Yeah, all the small drawers are done. I left my junk drawer alone. That's sacred. Um, hung some more stuff on shelves, rearranged something like four times this morning already, and not really sure I like the way it is, but I'm going to try it out for a while. I watch TV while I'm doing all of this. I don't know what that says about me trying to concentrate on stuff, but TV helps. I think maybe I need to do something in here. I don't know what. Um, anyway, so I just needed a little mental break from purging. I got a box of containers from Walmart the other day that I had ordered to do the purging stuff and they came in these great boxes. So I took the small box that the little containers came in and I laid it, I, I taped the opening shut and then I flipped it on its side and I cut the opening and I've been dumping purged items in there to take to the thrift store. My husband said every time he comes they get very excited about my stuff. Too bad I didn't feel that way about it, huh? All right, so today I purged washi tape. I don't have a large supply of washi tape, and I hardly ever use it. 
I probably could have condensed it down even more and eventually I might do more. I purged some um, ink pads and reinkers, gave them to a friend because I I'm I've I've had them a couple years now and never used them. I just don't like them. I don't like distress oxides. Um, so I got rid of let's see, should I I had eight and I she took five because she had duplicates of the color, so I have three left. Um all my cardboard paper, all that stuff is squared away. And I'm so happy. So happy. But for some reason, I feel like I still have too much stuff. I have not done my bookcase drawers that are across the room. The, what are they, Billy book, Billy bookcases, whatever they are. They still have drawers full of stuff. And I haven't even thought about looking in the, I, I thought about it, but I walked past them. <laughs> I let that feeling pass. All right, I want more on here because this is too much like this. So I'm going to take my paintbrush and I would like to put another color here. Uh, let's see, there's not enough water on it. Some color that I haven't used yet. I don't think this is watery enough. Last time I... See, the, I have a terrible habit of putting the water over here and then dragging the wet brush over to the paint over here. And I have dripped. I have dripped water. I'm not going to lie. I have dripped water all over the place. And then it's like... It's all right. It's just watercolor. And I'm supposed to be having a good time with it. I think I need another color. What do I want? Maybe I'll, I'll just leave it at this. Maybe I need a little pointy top here to go. There we go, to finish out the top of the page. How's that for continuity? All right, I gotta let this dry. I'm gonna let this dry and then I'll be back and do another one of the exercises from Paula's videos. Okay. So I'm back for the second one that I really liked in Paula, uh, Creative Paula's series of um, Seven Ways to Fill Up Your Sketchbook. Uh, like I said before, I will put it in the description box below the link so you can watch the video. The second one that she's doing is making flowers that are kind of an asterisk. They're not very defined, and uh, the water she used is very loose, very uh, watered down stuff. Lots of water. Let's see if I can get that in my hair without stripping it on everything. Okay, just add more water to my, maybe if I did it right here where you can see it, that'd be better. So she just goes here and she said she kind of makes them in an asterisk and that's how she made the flowers that were loose. Okay, that's very loose and weird looking flower. All right, uh, let's see. Let's do a yellow. I don't have room for yellow in my... dish. So I'm going to do all yellow like this. I'm really not putting a lot of thought into it. Although I want to desperately. But I'm not. I want to screw around with it. <laughs> I want to make it all kinds of neat looking. Nope. Just need to just, just let it go. Just make it weird. <laughs> make it strange. Goothy goothy. That's really cool looking. Uh, let's see what other color did she use. Oh, she used red, so let me try. I don't use red very often. I like red. Red's one of my favorite colors. Oops, that's orange. I guess we're not going to do that one. Um, red is one of my favorite colors. Not Christmassy red, just, just like red.
Okay. What else did she do on here? More bleedy, blendy stuff. Uh, what other color would I like? I would like a blue. And then she does these kind of misshapen sort of sort of leaves and let's do that there that's too much and she did a couple down below here I can't get it all in the picture <laughs> going right off the not centered sorry and let's see what else I'm trying to look at her her picture here I got it on the screen. Everything is very watered down, flowy. And then, oh, and some, oh, the flowers are touching each other. That's what I didn't, I didn't do that. Maybe I should make my flowers more crazy. This blue. Let's do a little more crazy. Oh, that avant garde. No. All right. That might be it. And now I gotta let it dry. Okay, so I'm. I used my heat gun to dry this quickly because I don't want to be here all night. And it is five after nine, so we're fast approaching. TV watching time. So the next part that she does, well, let me find the video. I switched it off to something else. Like that wasn't the smartest thing ever. So I have to go back and look at my YouTube history and put her video back on so that I can. It happens to let me, me mute her. Old. There we go. Because I don't want to get struck. Wait, where is it? Um, some of the other ones on the video after these two I don't particularly care for they're not horrible but it's not something I would I would do all right so then she takes let's see I have the 1.2 0.8 0 0.5 and I think this other one is the 0.7 from when I was doing this one earlier today so let's go with the um 1.2, I think. Let me put these other guys back. Because I think this might be thick enough on here. I'm trying to fast forward the video. Oh, here she goes. Oh, she's got a really fat pen in her hand. Well, pooey. That's what I'm using, and that's the end of it. So she does the petals. First goes kind of around them abstractly. And then she goes around them again. This might be too fat of a marker. And then she goes into the center and makes little things like this, which is probably what I should have done in the beginning. It's kind of an abstracty thing, huh? All right, so I think the second one I should do a lot better. Second one, I will do this first in the center. Then I can do the leaves. And then I can do this, the flowers. Okay. So let's see. We'll do this a second time. This is very loosey goosey, except for this. And then she takes the marker and she kind of goes up in between the petals. Mine does not look as nice as hers, but yeah, it's my first time. 
right, so let's go with the smaller pen. Maybe this one has got too fat of a tip. Let's go down to uh, an eight. See how we do, do with an eight. I might try this technique again. I kind of like it, and I would like for it to look a little better, but it's just a little fun exercise to loosen up your brain. Oh yeah, I like the eight much better. And not so crazy with the markings. So we can go out, come out like this. I like the style because I'm not not very good at some things that I see that I try. I'm like looking at them going, what was I thinking? <laughs> she said, these things are not aiming for perfection. I think, well, then I fit right in. What I did was awesome. <laughs> okay, let's do the middle part. She did a little black in between, which I guess gives the petals a little definition in between each other. Turn around this way. Let's go this one. Well, I'll rake my hand in that one, so let me do this one first. I'm really good at going like that while you're working on something else, and then you have these lovely colors, and you have this off to the side. You're like, why did I do that? Maybe a thin, let's try a thinner one this time. See how the thinner does for the outlines. See, this is just an experiment. I just want to see. Oh, I do like the thinner one. I didn't think that was going to work. I kind of like the thin look for the second go round. Oh, I didn't do the second go round on the yellow. Oh, let's try that on the yellow. Maybe mine are not too far. Maybe my stuff is not as far removed from the color as hers are. Right, there's that one. Let's do this one. This is the uh, 0.8 instead of the 1.2. Let's try this one. I don't know, I kind of like the 08. Ah, look at that. Well, it's not what I expected, but I kind of like it. I mean, there's, I think I like the 8s better than the 1. Maybe not doing the black line up into the, in between the petals is the answer. That was fun. Um, so I, I think you should, if you, even if you don't follow creating, is it creative Paula, go and take a look at her. Um, she has a, I guess a playlist of all these kinds of things where she's trying to get you to start in your sketchbook and break the white 
and she just does these little exercises. She does tell you in the very beginning she's a professional artist. I don't know about her education or anything about her. I've watched a couple of her videos and tried a couple things that she's tried in the past, and I really liked it. And then, you know, I moved on and got distracted and hadn't gone back. This time I actually subscribed so that I would see things on a more consistent basis that she does. These two could not be any further apart in form or anything, huh? <laughs> like it though. I mean, it is very interesting. I guess you could go back and put very fine detail in here, but why ruin a good abstract scribble? <laughs> All right, guys, this is it for me for this kind of not so long video. Yay. Um, I will see you in the next video. Bye. Happy watercoloring.